Hey guys, so with the release of the 5.5.1 kernel exploit for the Wii U, a lot of people have been getting into Smash 4 modding. So what I'm going to do is show you guys how you can grab the files that you need to get to mod and how to extract them for you to mod them basically because when you download them they're going to come in some crazy file structure that Smash 4 uses that doesn't really make it very intuitive to mod with and then I'll show you how to repack those into a patch that you can use with SD caffeine to load your mods in game so the first thing you're going to want to do is go to Wii U Brew Wiki and on the front page there'll be a link down here called title database just go there grab the type in control uh, just hit control F super smash bros for Wii U make sure you're grabbing the correct one for your region so I'm going to grab the US one grab the title key once you have that you can close out of Chrome or whatever your browser is and you're gonna next thing you're gonna need is U wizard go ahead and open U wizard it's going to ask you some uh, language stuff on the first startup but uh, I've already done that. Now, in order to decrypt the games that you're going to get from the Nintendo Update server, you're going to need the common key. I'm not going to tell you how to get the common key, but I will tell you that Google is your friend and Pastebin is your friend. All those sites that you know people put things on, they are your friend. You can look up anything you need on Google, and I'm sure you'll find it. So, what you're going to do on UWizard is you're going to go to the NUS Downloader U tab and as far as I know this doesn't have the Super Smash Bros uh, title key here which is why we had to go find it so we'll just put it up here make sure that you remove the dash here backspace one and hit E and I'm pretty sure that that dash made us miss one of the zeros here okay just leave the version blank and it should grab the newest version and then go ahead and hit start download I'm not going to download it because I already have the files. You also probably want to click decrypt contents if you have the common key in uh, set up. And just in case uh, you guys uh, want to know how to set up the common key, you go to settings and import the keys here. You can uh, import a text file or you can import a, a .bin file that just contains the key with these here. So after you've got the update files decrypted and all of that, you're going, the next thing you're going to need is Smash Explorer, which is basically a program that allows you to look at the crazy structure of Smash 4 and extract the individual files for use since Smash kind of packs everything into a giant archive. So the first time you run Smash Explorer, it's going to tell you that it can't find the latest version of the or that it can't it wants you to find the latest version of the game, which is why you downloaded the update files, and that it must contain code, content, and meta. None of those files will be altered by the program, so you don't have to worry about any of those uh, changes that you make uh, affecting your update and you needing to re-download the files or any of that. Just go ahead and hit OK. And I already have these set up myself. So I'm just going to go select it. one point one point five folder. Now it's going to yell at me or well it'll yell at you that you don't have the ls file and a, a few other things will be missing when but in reality all you really need is the ls file now you need to get that ls file any way that you can and the way i recommend doing it is dumping your game from the disk using the homebrew application ddd the base version of the game is going to have this ls file right here you need to take this and inside your update folder put it in content right there and that'll allow you to load everything then you can see the file structure here of the game now you basically are going to want to extract these data partitions which you can do by going in and extracting each individual thing and I'm sure there's a way you can extract the entire partition itself but basically that's it when you want to replace anything and then rebuild the patch for you to use with SD caffeine you basically just need to drag and drop it back into the screen so into the tree view for example so let's go ahead and extract Fox and I'll show you okay now inside your smash explorer folder it should have a folder 
called extract. Go in there, grab data, fighter, you see all these files that you can edit now, right? Well, if you after you edit them and you want to put them back into the game, you're going to need to take your data folder and you can just drag the data folder right there and it should do it. If not, then just go ahead and grab the fighter folder and throw it right there. And it'll show you the things that are changed will turn green. Once you do that, go ahead and click build the mod. Once you do that, it should freeze for a little bit because it takes a while to build stuff. And the uh, changed files will be put in export, release, and all of that. Now this is going to take a while, but basically when it's done, all you're going to have to do is copy these files to the root of your SD card, or rather not the root of your SD card, but in a folder that has that the folder is called titled the uh, title key of the game, which is what we already used in uWizard to download the game. So you actually don't need these CSV files. They're essentially just like a change list of everything that was changed and some data about them. So you can delete those if you really want to. Okay, so then you basically are going to want to make a new folder and you're going to want to title it the title key without the dash. Inside that, you're going to want to create a folder called patch. Not in caps, although I don't think it matters. From there, you just grab all of your stuff here, put it on there, and you're good to go. This is basically everything that you edited that it needs. So you don't need the whole patch, the whole update on the SD card. This will only be the files that you changed, or rather, the files that are needed that are changed. And that's basically it. Now you can just go ahead and load up the kernel exploit, load up SD caffeine from there, and it pretty much just works.